I'm sorry I can't be there with you in person, but I'm extremely busy working behind closed doors on the top secret, highly anticipated. Congratulations to all of our qualifiers and good luck. Hey everyone, Derek here to give my impressions of the Nintendo World Championships 2017. Now Ash and Andre were actually there at the event and they were able to capture footage of the crowd reactions to various things and we'll have that interspliced within these impressions to give you a better idea of what it was actually like there at the event. But just watching it from home on the stream, I thought this was very well done. Now granted, it did not have the announcements that the original Nintendo World Championships had. A lot of people were expecting that, a lot of people were hoping for that, but no, this was all about the competition. The only thing we really got was the new update trailer for ARMS, which is kind of cool on its own. However, we did get Reggie in the beginning talking about how we couldn't be there and how they're hard at work on the next big Nintendo game, which is obvious. They blurred out his mouth to make it even more of a tease about what game he was talking about, but it was still just sort of, yeah, we're working on something, yeah, you guys can be excited for it, but we're not ready to actually show it off yet, which is kind of perfect for an event like this. You just want to focus on the competition. It does kind of suck that we didn't get anything big or new, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'm not too upset about it, to be honest, because, well, we still have plenty to cover this year. So, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I think the Nintendo World Championship itself was handled extremely well. It felt bigger than the 1 to 3 and that's a bit of an accomplishment because it looked like the venue itself was a lot smaller than the one at E3. So there's less people there, but the energy was still good, people were still getting very much into it, and I have to say the game selection they had this time around was a lot better. Yep. You had the typical new games to help promote their products like Zelda and ARMS and Splatoon and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that all makes a lot of sense. But then you had some really clever old school choices that, well, you really didn't see coming. I mean, we had Tetris, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, Bird and Bean, which I hadn't even heard of until that point because I never played the original WarioWare, and I didn't even realize it became its own DSiWare shop title because of all that. It was a great representation of old school games along with some of the newer stuff. I actually greatly enjoyed the underground more than the above ground just because uh, there was a lot more variety there and you never knew what was going to be thrown at you. And one of my favorite moments was actually the Donkey Kong Country Returns section where they had everybody playing through a minecart section and it is a really tricky level and just seeing them die and die and die like it was a massacre and I don't know the sadistic part of me really enjoyed that so props to that that they actually had some teeth to this event and really put these guys through the works I like competitions like this where there's a lot more variety rather than hey you've gotten really good at this one game but here's a bunch of different games a bunch of different genres that you have to get a handle on right away and you can sit in the comfort of your own home and play these games and have no issues with that Donkey Kong section for example but if you're being thrown into that level with very little prep without knowing what that is coming without having that warm-up of all the levels that came before it and in front of just a huge crowd of people well there's definitely gonna be some nerves there and mistakes are going to be made so all props to these guys actually going through it Super Mario One of the things I actually really enjoyed and I was really hoping for is I was hoping for one of the under 12 division kids to make it as far as possible. I believe his name was Tubberoon or Tubberoon. He was sort of a standout to me and I, if you followed me on Twitter uh, you saw how I was rooting for him as we were going through. There were some really good Splatoon matches during all of that and I greatly enjoyed it. I was really hoping a kid would take it and upset one of the older people but that's okay. It was a bit of a long shot but I think they did very well. The kids 
hung in there for as long as possible, and it was just great to see. But yeah, otherwise, I thought Nintendo handled this extremely well, and we'll see if they expand upon this idea as time goes on. Whether they'll actually expand the Nintendo World Championships to a World Championships, or they'll just do it again, or change up the format in some way. But this does feel like a great way to advertise their games that are out and coming out, plus showing off the legacy of Nintendo. And of course, with coming out, we actually had Super Mario Odyssey as the final game. Championship games! Makes a lot of sense, and as Andre said on Twitter, he actually compared the moment to a little like The Wizard, where they revealed Super Mario Bros. 3. I don't think it was as big as that, it wasn't as overblown because, you know, movie, but it still had that effect of, hey, game that isn't out yet, stuff we haven't really seen before, and seeing how these guys react to it. And it was a great showcase. There was some really great platforming being shown there and how you had to use Cappy, all the different ways you had to think about it, and uh, just adapt on the fly. I really enjoyed those bits, and it was a great showcase of the game. I cannot wait to play it in less than three weeks. It's crazy to think about. But yeah, as an advertising tactic, I think this went very well. I don't know if it had the hype that Nintendo was hoping for, but it still was an entertaining five hours to sit down and watch people play all these games, see all the different challenges thrown at them, and get some really great moments. So yeah, those are just my impressions to the Nintendo World Championships, but what did you think? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Nintendo and other things gaming as well. Till next time, bye.